Chicken and sausages. I got andouille sausages. I got boneless skinless chicken breast. No boneless skinless chicken thighs. I got my Trinity head. For you guys to know what a Trinity is, it's just a mixer of onions, green peppers, and celery. I got that there. I got me some um diced tomato, bay leaves, some chicken broth, two cups of rice, uh, some Cajun, and some uh, Creole 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 seasoned by Tony's. Great. So we're gonna go in first to the chicken. I wanted to get brown and it's already cut and cleaned and rinsed. Um, and you don't have to season it because this Creole seasoning, Cajun seasoning, gonna do it all. Stand back, Brandon. Because this is about. Stand back, Brandon. It's about maybe four tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use vegetable oil. And once this gets halfway brown, I'm going to add in my, add in my, what's this thing called? Um, andouille sauces. <laughs> you can use spicy turkey or regular. I got the regular ones, not the spicy ones. Once this gets halfway brown, I'm going to add in my sauces. So I'm throwing this away. See, I ain't got to wash dishes. <laughs> so let me go wash my hands. We're going to let this cook. And once this get halfway brown, look at me, you don't got to see all that. Now get halfway brown, we're going to come back, and I'm going to throw the sausages in, and we're going to do it from there. Okay, so my chicken is halfway done. And look, this look, look, says, look. <laughs> I don't have no words like, looking good. And go my sausages. Yes, this is going to be a lot of sausages. This is going to be And I have it in a medium high heat. And I'm just gonna let it all just cook. I want the sausage to brown to them. So it's gonna fry. Just fry up. I know I keep saying we'll be back, we'll be back with everything. You know, we don't wanna sit here and watch the sausage fry. So I'm gonna let the sausage fry up. And after the sausage fry up, I'm gonna come back with it in the Cajun season, put in my um, Creole seasoning and the rice and the tomatoes and the bay leaves and the mm. <laughs> this one will be good. I'm gonna let this fry up. Matter of fact, while that's frying, I'm going in with my Trinity. Again, Trinity is just the um, onions, green peppers, and your celery. And we're gonna let all this cook together. Yeah, fry up together. My version of jambalaya. My version. Hope you guys like it. But let's let this fry up. Okay, I got a medium high heat. I'm gonna let that cook to a cook down to a fry. And we'll be back once this gets to sizzling and bubbling and adding my seasoning. Hey guys, the meat is done and we're ready. So look at the sausages. Everything is cooked down. You want some good color on your sausages. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going in with my seasoning. I can't really tell you how much. It's all about taste. This is the Creole seasoning. I'm gonna say I'm just about maybe four teaspoons, but we're going to top the season again. I'm putting a little bit of Cajun in here. So the Cajun seasoning, you can smell it. And with that, I'm gonna go in with my diced tomatoes with the juice and all my diced tomatoes, and my two chopped. I waited to put the, um, what do you say, for garlic in, because I didn't want it to burn, because garlic burns. And once I do that, I'm going in with my two cups of water, and one can of chicken broth. And to all of this, ooh, there you go. I'm going to add 
two cups of rice. Let me get a brand new. I'm going to turn the stove down to a medium high. Yeah. And remember, rice is a solid. So you want to use measuring cups, see? For solid things like sugar and flour, rice. Too. When they say cups, use this. A lot of people will use this. This is for liquids only. So let me. Uh, yep. Only two cups of rice, you guys. That's all I'm using. And that rice is going to soak all, all of that liquid up. Jambalaya is not to be soupy. And the rice is going to soak it up with the ball. I know I'm making a mess. And I have this on a medium heat. Okay. I'm just going to stir it all up together. It's on a medium heat. The rice is going to soak it all up. And at the end, we'll end up putting a little more seasoning in it. But I'm going to add two. I might do three. Three bay leaves. Oh. There you go. Remember, this is for seasoning. So once this get done, you're really going to, um, you're going to, I don't want a big one. You're going to take them out. I'm going to let it just cook in there with it. I'm about to put the top on it. And when you get, when I come back, we're going to see the end results with the rice is all bubbling, it's all together, and add a little more seasoning. And we're going to have my jambalaya the way I cook it. And we'll be back at the end. So, guys, it's ready. So, you look at my jambalaya. Yes. I added a little bit of hot sauce in there for a little bit kit. I added some more Creole and a little bit more um, Cajun. Remember, all the water and the juices and the broth, it all sucked it all up. <clears throat> and let's take them bay leaves out. You want to make sure you take out your bay leaves. They go mm -hmm. one. No, it's for taste. There's another one in here somewhere. I find it. But here it is. My jambalaya made my way. Chicken and sausages. And guys, the taste is amazing. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you share and subscribe. And don't forget, everything you need is in the description. The Avon, the food truck. I mean, thank you guys for the support. Do you see those subscription? What's that called? Not on subscriber numbers. Oh my God. It is so amazing. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers, for everyone who's been sharing and talking. Thanks to everyone that came out to the fish fry. Thank you guys so much. This is my jambalaya. Sausage and chicken made my way. And the kids are about to eat. Until next time, you guys. I'm out. It's going right there. This is my breakfast. Angelina. <laughs> Gotta feed the pregnant girl, right? Mm. Okay. Guys. Get my plate.